Living. I'm here now with Teresa from the Ohio Department of Transportation. And it's so nice out that we decided to take our show on the road. See how I did that? The pun, <laughs> road, and yeah, okay, anyway. It is gorgeous outside, but part of what comes with spring and summer, as we've talked a lot with you about, is the construction. And you guys are knee deep in that construction on 75, aren't you? Yes, we certainly are. We have now started to where we're impacting the lanes of traffic on I-75 all the way from 280 to the Anthony Wayne Trail. That's so that's a about a seven mile yeah. work zone and that's not the biggest one that we have. So we are in the process of enacting those lane restrictions, pushing over traffic. Uh, you still have two lanes to drive on, but those lanes are reduced to 11 and 10 feet mm. in some areas. And the reason for that is we've got to rebuild a uh, bridge over Burdan and make it wider. And I think it's just less than a mile long bridge. So that's a huge structure. And the reason we have to do that, so now we have to move traffic, one lane of northbound traffic uh, from Burdan to around Phillips is on the actual southbound side. Mm. So that's one of the reasons that we've had to do this. And all of this takes a lot of work. We're able to do most of it at night. However, as many have noticed, we've had to close a lot of ramps in the area. We had the Willys and Jeep Parkway, right. and now we have the Phillips closed at the time of this recording. And uh, we're soon looking on May 4th to close the Polish Village overpass between the expressway drives. And uh, right now, that's going to be the only exit and entrance way to get onto 75 um, in that that area. stretch. That whole stretch, yeah. You have to not only be an engineer to deal with the roadways, but I'm telling you, you have to be an engineer to be able to schedule all of these things and figure out what you need to close when and what, I mean, that's a logistical nightmare. It has to be. It's the art of what we do. And we've been obviously planning uh, all of these projects uh, within uh, the past several years and knowing when the funding became available, hey, we have to be right. ready to go. Um, so as a part of that, we have worked very hard and we're very fortunate to have a great staff of engineers on these projects who all work so well together that they can say, okay, we're doing this tonight. What can we do to team up on, on this job? So they're well aware of not only their own major multi-million the dollar projects, but the other ones that go into that. So our engineers and our staff in construction have just done an amazing job from the inspectors um, and, and our maintenance forces have really all teamed up to be as aware of these projects as, as each other are. So it's, it's quite an art form um, and it's something that, that we are, are, are very, um, we put that in the forefront of knowing sure. what's going on at all times. Well, they obviously have to work very closely together and they're doing that. Now, mm -hmm. 75 is not the only construction zone. Uh, oh. 475 has several projects going on too. Yes, and uh, in fact, later this summer, we're going to have another new project on I-75, I'm sorry, on I-475 in Central Avenue. Mm. That one is still yet to get underway. Um, we're reconstructing a whole interchange there, but on 475, we've got construction from US-23 all the way down to around Salisbury Dussel. So that area is under major construction as well. And we are gonna be starting on McCord Road. Actually, we've been starting, but the full closure of McCord Road is gonna start here in early May. So that is something for everyone to consider. It's going to put a lot of pressure on the other arteries right. uh, from 475. Airport Highway, Holland, Sylvania. Um, so right now we're watching those areas um, as we have, obviously we move forward. Because once we do close down these areas, mm -hmm. we watch them very closely to see if there's any improvements that we can sure. make in in our construction and with signage. I mean, there's 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 not much you can do once a closure can happen uh, with with the detours because those are established. But if there's anything that we can do as far as signage, as far as putting out even message boards, mm -hmm. help. Um, and that's what we've done, especially along the I-75 corridor, which is further down. To the, down to our south. I saw a new message board on uh, 24 not very long ago that's telling you what's going on on 75 and 475 as you're coming up to 475 there. So those are certainly very helpful. Now the most important thing though is to slow down and pay attention because as you were telling me earlier, the biggest issue in these construction areas is either people rear-ending someone else or sideswiping because somebody stops in front of you and you swerve to get out of their way and there's yes. nowhere to go. Yeah, um, we have seen an increase in our I-75 work zone in Wood County all the way from Perrysburg to Finley. We've seen an increase of accidents in that work zone. Now, it's not the work zone that caused these problems. Right. It is the drivers which go through them. And I've seen it a hundred times, drivers going 80 miles an hour plus. We've we've had um, Highway Patrol posting that they have seen drivers driving over 100 miles an hour oh in, a, in a 60 mile an hour zone. There is no reason for mm -hmm. that. And, and that is one of the reasons we have this increase in accidents because we have the road which is narrow 
because of construction, that's why we've reduced the speed limits. That is the reason right there. So drivers have to know that, hey, there's a reason for this. It's not just to slow me down. It's right. not just to make my life miserable. It's to keep you safe in order to prevent those tragedies from happening. So uh, our job at ODOT is to do construction, is to keep our roads as maintained as possible. And that is what we are out there doing. But it's up to drivers to take the responsibility and be safe on our roadways to help everybody be safe because we want your family to come home right. safe. Right. Um, that's our goal. But we also have to make sure that we're doing our job and keeping the road safe and maintained because it's very fortunate that we have this construction up here. Well, if we weren't, if you weren't doing what needed to be done to update the road and keep them, then that would be a whole nother safety issue. That would create a safety issue itself. So definitely people should slow down and pay attention. You think that you need to pay attention all the time and you do, but that just looking down at the radio for a split second in a construction zone can make a huge difference. So be careful out there. We'll continue to update you. And of course, OGO. Ogo.com. It's our website. You can see if there's an accident going on. Um, you can see live traffic and how it's flowing through the area. It's something that when we have these accidents and major incidences, if you go out and you look at that ahead of time, you'll be able to uh, pl plan your route around right. the construction. It's an awesome tool. Make sure you go see it, whether you're just driving to work or you're planning a trip through the area somehow. Ogo.com. We'll be right back on Better Living.